Welcome, welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? How do you feel? Are you ready? Are you ready for your English class? Are Always very ready, teacher. All right. Very good. How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? Just working. Working. A lot of work, a lot of money? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's what you're supposed to do. In my case, I didn't work on the weekend. I was off. Okay. Who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? ¿Qué se acuerda de la clase anterior? The use of at, on, in, or in. That is correct. A, what do you use at, on, and in for? What is it used for? I remember at is used mm -hmm. for a specific information. Mm -hmm. On is a general information about mode. I don't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. And in, in a date, uh, and a specific date. Correct. Very good, Diego. That is exactly correct. So let's look at this review, just to review. Esto solo es para dar un repaso. 1989. On. This preposition of time is used in 89. One second. This is 2.8. Sorry, I got to load the page one more time. That was here. Two point eight video time expressions. Ready? By the end of yes. the Ready? Participants will be able to identify and use All right, time please take notes. Yes. Okay. Time. time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at in and on preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time all right so here we're looking at at to give a specific time we have classes at 8 p.m we have classes at 8 at night quiero que vea que no dice in the night dice at night. Including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In, this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. Okay, so when we're using in, 
we use in for in the morning, except at night. Everything else is in the morning, in the afternoon. My graduation is in June. So in for the month. I went to Mexico in 1989. In for the year. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. Okay, so we use on to express the days on Monday, on Tuesday, on weekends, um, on holidays, or when you're going to give a month and specific dates, right? Christmas is on December 25th. My birthday is on April 5th. Woman's Day is on, today is the 8th, March 8th. Friday, I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. All right. So this activity, we did it uh, in the previous class. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Okay, so we're going to look at time expressions, which is the next section, 2.9, knowledge check, 2.9, and we're going to be looking at time expressions. Instructions, complete these sentences with time expressions. Instrucciones, complete estas oraciones con expresiones de tiempo. Number one, I get up mm, six at on or in at. at at all right i'm gonna give you a couple of minutes so that you can complete this activity in pairs and then we are going to check at this moment does anybody have any questions related to this information any questions related to this information Nobody? No question. Okay. Let's practice in pairs and then we will check together as a class. Ready? Let's go. I see that Iris Nieves is not gone. Iris, do you need help? Iris Nieves, do you need help? Hello, hello. Night. Night. Okay. Number three. I start work on. At también. At. Okay. Sí. Yes. Number four. In. In. Correct. Very good. Number five. I stay up on weekends. Very good. I agree. Number six. Eh. On. No. Muy bien. Very good. N number seven. 
I watch TV in the evening. Okay, very good. Well, I next. do my work. Uh, number eight. In? No. On. No. Yes, I guess. Arum. 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 Yes, in the Alrededor. Ah, oh, okay. Arum. Uh, Number nine. I work on weekdays. Very good. And number eight. Ten. 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 Mm -hmm. I get home Lay. No. At. No. In the morning. In the morning. Okay, very good. Um, uh, correctas todas. Todas. Ok, very good. Yo ya no sé, a mí me aparecen ya contestadas en la plataforma, pero no me acuerdo haberlas contestado yo. <risa> Mire qué bien. <risa> no, no me recuerdo, no, no remember. Eh, lo que sí entendí en la clase es que cuando hablamos in the morning and in the, in the afternoon, eh, vamos a usar in. Ajá, el in no, mu no mucho, me el at y el on. Son, bueno, el yeah. on prácticamente yeah. es el que... Y el alrededor era arrow. Arrow. Estaba difícil, ¿verdad? Arrow. Ajá. Arrow. 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 Alrededor, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? We finish. Everybody's finished? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and check the activity one more time. Let's look at number two, one volunteer. Number two, one volunteer. To go to the bed late at night. I go to bed, right? Notice that here I don't say the bed. Only I go to bed. So, what is your answer? I go to bed? At. 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 Very good. I go to bed late at night. Number three. I start work at, at 11.30 a.m. Number four. I have, have a lunch. lunch. In, in, in the afternoon. Very good. In the afternoon. Number five. Oh. I stay up at 1 a.m. on weekend. On weekend. Oh, on weekend. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number six. I wake up late on Sunday. Perfect. I wake up late on Sundays. Number seven. I watch to be in the evening. 
in the evening. Number eight. I do my homework around four in the afternoon. Around four in the afternoon. Number nine. I work on weekend days. I work on weekdays, is correct? Weekdays. And the last one, number 10. I get home early in the morning from my night shift. Very good. In the morning from my night shift. Let's check. Perfect. Okay, I would like for us to practice the pronunciation. Uh, read for me number one, Jenny Melendez. Number one, Jenny Melendez. All right, Hector Granados, number one. I get up. Oh, hi, Jenny. Okay. Hi. I get up at six. Perfect. I get up at six. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, number two, please, Hector. I start work at 11.28. Uh, number two, Hector. I'm sorry. I go to bed late uh, at night. Very good. I go to bed late at night. Israel, number three. I start work at 11.30 a.m. Perfect. Number four, Genaro. I have lunch at 2 p.m. on the afternoon. Mm. Mm. On the Repeat. afternoon. Uh, in the afternoon. Ah, in, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Correct. Very, Correct. Very, very good. Henaro, in the afternoon. Correct. Thank you. Number five, Patricia. Five. I stay up at 1 a.m. on weekend. Perfect. Diego Valle, number six. I wake up late on Sundays. I wake up late on Sundays. Excellent. And the next one is uh, Jacqueline. Number seven. All right, Santiago Ramirez, number seven. I watch TV in the evening. In the evening, correct. Daniel, number eight. I do, I do Daniel to Daniel. Oh, Daniel, number eight. Daniel. Okay. Um, I do homework around for the afternoon. Excellent. I do my homework around four in the afternoon. The next one, Tamara, number nine. I work on weekdays. I work on weekdays. Very good. 10, Griseida. I get home early in the morning from my night shift. Perfect, perfect. All right. 
any questions related to this activity, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, any questions related to pronunciation, vocabulary, anything of that nature? Questions, questions, questions. Somebody? Anybody? Nobody? Hi, Tamara. Um, um, bueno, yo me medio trabé en el ad porque, bueno, decía que el ad se utiliza en specific time, pero aquí dice, en, por lo menos en la segunda, I go to bed late at night. Mm -hmm. eh, ajá, late at night. The specific time sería tarde en la noche o bien noche. That's right. Eh, okay. eh, y para la mañana y la tarde se usa in, in the morning, en la mañana, in the afternoon, en la tarde, pero para noche se usa at, es la excepción de la regla. Another question? Thanks. No. Thank you, Tamara. Another question, ladies and gentlemen? Anybody? Somebody? All right. Now, what we're going to do is look at the next activity. 2.10. It says, in this class, participants will develop listening skills for specific information about daily schedules. In esta clase, los participantes desarrollarán su habilidad auditiva escuchando información específica sobre itinerario diario. Listen, listening exercise, daily schedules. Instructions. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the information for each person. Instrucciones. Escuche a Rodney, Tina, y Ellen hablar sobre sus horarios diarios. Complete la información para cada persona. Write numbers in the letters. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Listen, please. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the a I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late. All right. Uh, let's look at the first run. Rodney is a yes. chef, right? Okay. So listen one more time. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's... All right. So the first one is correct. Rodney is a chef. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple of minutes. And I would like for you to uh, practice this conversation, listening, and complete the correct answer. Any questions? No. All right. In total is 12 exercises. 12 exercises. Ready? Let's go.
Hello, Patricia. What happened to your partner? Iris. Iris, Iris Nieves es su pareja. No vino. No está. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, vamos a ponerla con Diego y Israel. Oh, already? Yes. Okay, you can put it if you want it because I can try to to enter to the platform. Okay, okay. Let me know if you can't listen. Well, guys, I'm from my cell phone, and I think because you can listen. Yeah, I can listen. Some minutes before I was listened, but right now I can't. Yeah, sure. If you want, you can hear it first of all, and then we can answer it. Are you finished? Oh. No teacher, todavía no he finalizado. That's okay. Nice. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? I have a, a lot of questions about that because I listen, I listen the listening and I listen some answer, but 
when I put on the system, that put me bad. What number? <laughs> let me see, let me see. <laughs> I just number three. I just have a uh, good, all right. Just four of all. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, okay. So number one is chef. chef. That's right. Number two is nine, nine a.m. But uh, I don't know what put me back. Okay. Can did you write it the way that I wrote it? Nine, right here. Nine, like a like a number, or in in letters. Uh, can you see my screen? Let me see. Let me see. Ah, okay. In letters, I put in numbers. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, okay, okay. I think was a number. Let me see if I change the number for letters. Let me see. You put only only the numbers or all the all the phrase. Uh, for what number? For every answer, what is number? Uh, let me see. Yeah, yep. Just you have, number. You have to write. You have to write the uh, whole phrase. The complete. Uh -huh, the complete word. Ah, the word. That is correct. Ah, okay, I have ten. Okay. Okay. Everything correct. That's good. Okay, and I don't know if my classmate need help in something or or can I help them of course that's the idea you can work together okay thank you teacher thank you she gets up before five five la, ten, la diez five Dice la compañera. Eleven. Eleven. She gets home out. She gets home at nine. At nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Nine de número, ¿verdad? Sí, nueve. Porque ahí yo me confundo con noche y número, nine. Nine. Uh -huh. Ajá, nine. Es que nine lleva como el la T, nine. O sea, uh -huh. Y ahí donde yo me, me confundo cuando dicen el nueve y, 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 y noche. Ajá, nine, vale. nine es en número y nice, nice tal vez quizás es el... A esa es la diferencia. La pronunciación. Ah. Night y midnight. Night es, pronuncia la N. Night. 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 Y night. media es midnight. 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 Oígalo. Midnight. Night. Y, y, y en nueve es con N, ¿verdad? Con N, 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 night. Night. Okay. Night. Ok. Um, next. Uh, sería... uh, well, she goes to bed at 10. She goes to bed at 10. Yes. Ten. 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 Uh -huh. only, only ten. Solo ten. Solo es de averiguar la, la número nueve. La nueve y la... Bueno, a mí me salió mal a las cinco, pero de seguro escribí mal Ofi. Lleva doble F.
All right, all right. Let's check, let's check. So, number one, Criseida. Number one, Criseida. Rodney is a chef. Rodney is a chef, very good. Elnice Ramirez, number two. He gets up at nine. He gets up at nine, perfect. Jacqueline Dominguez, number three. Eleven PM. Excellent. He gets home at eleven. Jenny Melendez, number four. He goes he goes to bed at one AM. Excellent. Hector Granados, number five. Ina is a office manager. Excellent. Tina is a office manager. Daniel Garcia, number six. All right. Diego Valle, number six. She get up at seven. She get up or she gets up. Con ese al final. Sorry, sorry. She, get up, she gets up at seven. That's right. Si es tercer persona singular, tienes que pronunciar la S. Si no, no es tercer persona singular. Number seven. Um, Patricia Rodriguez. Okay. Daniel Palacios. Number seven. Yes. Uh, she she gets home of six, of six. 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 Excellent. Genaro. Number eight. She goes to bed at midnight. She goes to bed at midnight. Awesome. The next one is Memo. All right, Memo, Santiago Ramirez. Okay, David Ernesto. Number nine. Number nine. Uh, Ellen is a flight attendant. Ellen is a flight attendant. Perfect. It's Stephanie, number 10. She gets up before five. She gets up before five. Eleven. It is. Eleven. No. Okay, is... okay. Eleven. She gets home at nine. She gets home at nine. 12. Well, until 9 o'clock at night. Uh, 11, she gets home at 9. Okay. All right. Tamara, number 12. All right, Evelyn Henriquez, number 12. All right. She goes to the bed at 10. Excellent. Solo que allí no vamos a decir the bed, solo vamos a decir she goes, la E no se pronuncia, she goes 
to bed at 10. She goes to bed at 10. La, la E no la pronunciamos. Okay. Any questions at this moment? All right, we're doing good. 3.2, nice, I like it. Okay, we're progressing very well, guys. I'm very happy um, that we are progressing like this. At this moment, do you guys have any questions? I have a question because I uh, I help in the lessons. Mm -hmm. I problem um quizás soy muy insegura cuando estoy escuchando en esta ocasión uh -huh. en ese ejercicio que acabamos de pasar a mí me costó el triple o el doble uh -huh. de porque lo estuve escuchar y escuchar uh -huh. y me costó entenderle pero no sé si era el, el audio o si es que realmente cómo puedo yo mejorar mi listen Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good question. Um, el listening es como cuando, digamos, cuando estás en una radio, una frecuencia de una radio, y estás buscando en la radio el, el, la señal, el tuning, le dicen el tuning, la frecuencia, right? ¿Y cómo vas a agarrar esa frecuencia? Practice, 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 right? ¿Por qué? Porque ahorita la frecuencia de tu audio, tu listening está en español. Pero si tú empiezas más a escuchar inglés, eh, eh, music in English, eh, digamos que pones una, una series on Netflix en English, o una canción en particular que te gusta en inglés y la cantas en karaoke. Eh, puedes escuchar tus podcasts, eh, cosas que a ti te gustan. Eh, obviamente aquí en la plataforma tenemos eh, bastantes actividades, videos. So, básicamente es practice, practice, practice. Y si siente que se le dificulta, no piense que está sola o está solo. No. Eh, todos me imagino que sienten esa misma dificultad. So it's all about practicing, guys. You know, that's the only way. Eh, no hay, digamos, los 10 secretos para... Eh, improve my listening o los 10 secretos to improve my pronunciation it's only about practicing the more that you listen to English programs English videos English audios English conversations English programs series music eh, anything that you can entertain uh, yourself in English is going to help you. Jenny? Hello? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Any questions, guys? Any questions, guys? Okay. Acuérdense que Esta horita que usted le dedica a esta clase is, is not enough. It's not, no es solamente, okay, me conecto a la clase y that's it. It's not like that. It's about time. It's about dedication. It's about, you know, sacrificing, you know. Uh, take advantage of the time invest the time. You know, a mí me dicen, Mr. Santos, ¿cómo es que usted pasa en, en bienes y raíces todo el día? Eh, da clases, hace traducciones, 
y todavía encuentra tiempo para el gym. ¿Por qué crees que lo hago? Why do you think I do it? Para organización. Practicar. ¿Huh? Why? Practicar. That's right. Because it's not easy. No es fácil. Porque yo bien puedo decir, ah, tengo dos horas de receso. Me voy a dormir. O voy a ver tele. O voy a ver un programa. No. I go to the gym. I go running. I lift weights. I exercise. Y después me alisto para dar clases. Right. Because ese, eso va a tomar ese sacrificio. I gotta do it. So you have to sacrifice for something that you want, right? That's it. Okay, let's look at section 3.0, lesson objective. Now, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación sobre pronombres demonstrativos mientras las personas van de compras. They are perfect for you. Now, I would like for you to look and listen to the video. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No. The yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Now... For this activity, I would like for us to practice the pronunciation of this conversation. Repeat, please. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. Oh, look at those green, Maria. Earrings. Earrings. Yeah. Earrings. Earrings. You know what? One more time. Oh, earrings. look at those earrings, Maria. Look at those. Oh, look at those earrings, oh, Maria. Maria. They're perfect for you. They're, They're perfect, perfect, perfect for you. These red ones. These red, red ones. ones? One? What? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. No, the yellow ones. No, no, no the, the yellow, yellow ones. ones. Oh, these? Oh, these? Oh, these? Mm, yellow mm. isn't really a good color for me. Yellow is really a good color for me. Color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Well, well that, that necklace isn't bad. Isn't bad. Isn't bad. Which, one? Which, which one? Which one? The blue one right there. That the blue one right, one right there. Right there. 
How much is it? How oh, much is it? Thing. It's forty two dollars. It's forty two dollars. That's, That's expensive. That's, That's expensive. expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. Hey, hey, hey let me let get it for you. It for you. It's your birthday present. It's your birthday, your birthday present. present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to the pronunciation or the meaning of any of these vocabulary words? Any question from that na na classe? Ah, necklace. Repeat. Ne necklace. 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 La e no se pronuncia. Necklace. Y la a es como la e. Necklace. 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 Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Another question. Necklace. Another question. No more questions? No. Okay. Did now, you, hi. Uh, what does it mean, uh, the yellow, yellow one? The yellow one is eh, los amarillos. The uh, yellow ones, los amarillos. Está oh. como señalándolos. Hey, me gustan los amarillos. The yellow ones. Yellow quiere decir amarillos. Y ones quiere decir esos. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I would like for us to take a couple of minutes and practice the conversation in pairs. Take a couple of minutes and practice the conversations in pairs. Are you ready? Let's practice. And who look at those hearing, Maria? Hola, hola. Hola. Eh, le faltó their perfect for you. Ah, sí, cierto. Okay. Oh, look at those hearing, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How oh, much is this? $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Oh, Joe Steven. Yes. Oh, look at 
those readings, Maria, they are perfect for you? These red ones, I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Uh, mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace, it's not bad. Which one? That blue one ring there. How much is it? It's for two dollars. That is expensive. Hey, let me get up in for you it's your birthday present happy birthday okay one more time okay and steven mm -hmm. oh look at it to earring maria they're perfect for you there's red ones i am not sure no the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, that's necklace in bar. Which one? Un poquito trabado aquí. And it's your birthday present? Yes, it's your baby birthday. It's birthday. Okay. The yeah. other one. And that is the next one. Eh, voy a hacer Steven. Yes. Okay. Then uh, we can change. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at us, Erling Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. Uh, no, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really good a color, a good color for me. With that necklace, isn't bad. Which one? That's blue on right there. Oh. Much isn't okay. It's forty-two dollar. That is expensive. Hey, let me get in for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday! Thank you. Well, I I'll be Steven. Maybe you can be Maria. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, look at the at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. This red one, uh, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is a really good for me. Well, that's Nicholas, I think, <laughs> isn't bad. Necklace. Which one? Necklace. 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 All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up, time's up. Please uh, continue working on the platform. Uh, don't stop right there only because we're finished with the class. Remember that the more you practice, the more that you improve your listening and your pronunciation. All right, um, see you guys tomorrow. Remember, keep working on the platform. Right now, we are doing very good. So we will continue tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night ladies good night. and gentlemen. Bye-bye. Good night.